Hello, my friends. This will be the first of most likely many video blogs. Today is Thursday, February 24th, 2011. If uh, you're looking to get to know me a little better, then you may be interested in watching these video blogs. I'll make a notation in the title that it is a video blog and it's not a teaching video. Uh, this will be just me speaking off the top of my head on what's going through my little mind, what I'm feeling, and what... Uh, what basically is going on. It'll help you get to know me a little better. But it's not a teaching video. It's more of a where I'm coming from and how I think. So let's begin. I, I really don't think that the people on the internet that I try to associate myself with gets where I'm coming from. I, I really don't think they do it. And I, I don't think Christians in general get where I'm coming from. And one of the problems is I do get where they're coming from. And I see where where they're at. I see what they're doing. And I just find myself in a different situation. And I think it's nothing more than the fact that I've been doing this for so very long. I've got such so much time involved in chasing rabbit trails from one end of the Bible to the to the other, and how one thing relates to another and how one thing is interconnected with another. I've peeled the onion skins back so much that my eyes are watering. And when it comes to basing your teachings, when it comes to doing what you feel is the Great Commission, discipleship, which if, if you're out here teaching, and it's not about discipleship, it's not about the Great Commission, go out into the world, bringing up disciples to teach the gospel of the kingdom, and to teach them to do likewise. See, I want to encourage more Christians to get out here and talk about Christ. Get out here and spread the gospel. And so many, so many have told me, you know, Greg, it's not my calling. Evangelism is not my calling. And, and, and you know what? I've come to recognize that your calling and the gifts that go along with your calling amount to the way you go about doing something. And so many people think evangelism is 
a job title. Okay, as a Christian, everyone that takes on the title of Christian wants to profess themselves to the world as being a Christian and claiming that they follow Christ. Each and every one of them is a servant. Each and every one of them is given a task. You, you are given a commandment, just like every other commandment of God. And you either take it seriously or you don't. How you go about fulfilling that commandment is your calling. For some, you take a slightly different approach than someone else. And I'm not going to elaborate on the various callings. It's not necessary to get my point across, I don't think, on this video. But the Great Commission is a commandment. It's not a calling. If you, as a professor of faith, a believer in Christ, cannot get out here and publicly profess your faith in some fashion, then you're not professing your faith, which is what Jesus was talking about. You confess me before men, I will confess you before the Father. If you don't, then he won't either. And it's, it's all really in a nutshell what this is. It's the Great Commission. And if you are out here teaching scripture for any other purpose than fulfilling the Great Commission, then you've got the wrong motivation. I'm not out here to toot my own horn. I'm not out here to make a name for myself, which is why I gave up this particular channel, Greg Monroe Vlog, because it's really, I find myself coming back around in a circle. When I was posting videos on Greg Monroe Vlog, I was accused by the naysayers out there that I was just trying to make a name for myself and make a reputation for myself. So, I dropped the channel to show that it wasn't about my name. And I went from channel to channel to channel because you've got to have a title on the channel. You really do. There, you can't have a channel on YouTube without having it named something. And yet every name that I came up with, there was always somebody or some group out there that felt they had license for that particular name and because I don't line up with anybody's particular viewpoint, it, it seems. Because when I teach out of the Gospels, I'm teaching out of the Gospels. I'm not teaching out of the Epistles. You know, I'm teaching out of the Gospels. I, I have a high level of respect for the Eastern Orthodox on one account. They put the four Gospels up on four pillars above and beyond all the other scriptures in the Holy Bible. They, they take it on a tier system. The Gospels are here and the epistles are here. 
and all I hear coming from you Protestant teachers out there. I look and I look and everybody's teaching out of the epistles. Nobody seems to want to touch the red letters. No one wants to teach the words of Jesus Christ. Nobody wants to teach out of the book of Math, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. And it's because their doctrines are not based upon the gospel. The doctrines are based upon the epistles. And without the gospel as a foundation, your epistles are in error. In my teachings, everything that I've done, every teaching that I put forth is based upon the four gospels. And when you come to me and you tell me that I'm in error, because I'm not following what everybody else out here seems to want to follow. And you use peer pressure on me and you say I need to abandon I need to walk away from the words of Jesus Christ and go chase after Paul or go chase after the writer of Hebrews or go chase after Timothy or or what have you. Okay. I'm not going to listen. If you're going to want to correct me, offer up rebuke and correction, use Jesus. Because that's where I'm coming from. And if you go from any other source, then you're taking the words of enlightened teachers and you're arguing against the word of God which to me is nothing but error take your epistles and base them upon the gospel start with the gospel use the epistles to illuminate what the gospel has set forth and you'll find that you line up with me quite well. It, it, it is said that so many of you have only gotten so far into Scripture yourself. You spend so much time listening to these other talking heads. You listen to these other pundits, these people that go to these seminaries and they get these doctorate degrees and they regurgitate the same stuff over and over and over again and it sounds good it sounds good but when you dig to the root of the matter you find the corruption and that's unfortunately what I've done for the last 20 years is digging to the root of the matters it, I, it just grieves me terribly that I'm not touching more people out there I'm striving to do the Great Commission Lord I'm striving to follow your word But it's so hard to find disciples to raise up and to teach and to convince them to go out and do likewise. Well, that's my 15 minutes for the day. God bless you all. Thank you for listening.